Let's talk about the layer management in 3D code. So pick the regular dummy here from the standard shelf. Now we have all the structure here. Uh, and the layers in 3D code, there's something in between of objects in Maya, Blender, 3D Max, and layers in Photoshop. So they can contain a limited amount of objects inside one layer, and then it can separate that layer into multiple objects and multiple layers. Uh, the layer can be empty and be like a dummy layer and hold your structure. For example, here, if I look at the mannequin parent, I can see that it doesn't have any triangles in it, so it's a layer, empty layer. And if I go pick everything up and say, press this button, it will group the selected layers under a dummy layer. You can repair these layers to each other pretty easily. So I can just click and drag direct it, say, to the leg. And now if I start rotating the leg, everything starts to rotate. I'll just undo, undo. However, there are certain situations where UI here starts to behave funny. So if I go into a level where we have, say, five fingers, and I want all of them to remove, to be moved to right arm, it will only move one finger at the time. So what do you have to do? You have to right click, go change parent, find the right arm and move it across. So this is really not that intuitive and it still didn't move all of them. We'll, we were left with ring finger over there. So it's pretty annoying. Uh, so I just wish we had the option to go and move it across, but that's kind of currently a little UI issue we have to work around. When you have a lot of layers, which is pretty common, what gets a bit confusing is, uh, you know, they're all kind of great. So what you want to do is you want to add the reference color. This is a new feature. And you can use the color for the objects and subtrees. And it can it will be then applied to the whole subtree. So that can then tell you what's going on. I'd say the menu is a bit, a little bit cumbersome compared, say, to the way you do it inside um, Photoshop. It's faster in Photoshop. Oh, however, it's better than nothing because uh, it can get really confusing when you have, say, 200 layers in one scene. If you move the layers around, the color will not change. You have to manually then repaint it again. At any given time, it can go and merge the whole subtree. And it will merge it, all the layers into one layer. Right-click here, go and objectify and separate everything. That will break the whole hierarchy, but now you can see how many we had uh, hidden in those like subtrees and everything. If you need to create a new layer, you can just click here. It will create a new empty layer. Kind of a similar operation called is called Add Child. It will create an empty layer that says uh, like a subordinate of this group. If I alt click on this eye icon, it will isolate everything except for this visible group. And I can see this whole hierarchy now visible, but everything else is invisible. And then I can go right click, show hidden volumes in this subtree. It will just show me this subtree. Oh, well, I have a hotkey now. So if I go and control shift H, it will show me the whole subtree here. So in that way, we can control the amount of stuff we want to see. And then if I click on eye, I icon again, it will unhide everything. And if I click an icon again here, it will forget about all those subtrees I've been unhiding before and be just specific about the right arm and the upper torso. We also have this button, it's a ghosting button. It allows you to essentially look through. You have these options at the top, ghost, pick and act. By default, it's don't pick, don't act. I use it as pick and act, so I'm still able to click A um, on a tool, on a a layer and still be able to pick this up. If it's don't pick, don't act, then you know, it's like an invisible layer which you cannot modify at all. There are two ways to delete a layer inside 3D code. One way is to press that beam at the bottom and I have a hotkey of delete assigned to that. So it will delete the whole hierarchy and everything. If you just want to keep the layer but delete everything that's inside, you want to clip, uh, click on this button. It will remove everything which is inside but keep the hierarchy. I have a hotkey for that. It's control delete and that you know, empties the layer. There are two ways to duplicate a group here in our layer in 3D code. So if I go right click on the layer, go clone, it will create a new unique copy of this mannequin. If I go and click clone instance, it 
to create an instance, and if you're not familiar with the terminology, instance is essentially a copy that's parented to the old uh, bit. So everything, whatever I gonna do and put here, it will be reflected on the original one. And you can see here, we actually had an instance inside the mannequin. This was an instance uh, to the right arm, uh, to the left arm. And uh, you can have like an instance inside an instance. It's, it's a really powerful feature, uh, kind of unique to 3D code. An extra tip, I'll just move this guy across. If I go and, and do shift operation, I press shift and drag it up, I will combine two of these parts together. If I go and press control, it will subtract the bottom from the top. It will be a boolean operation. And if I go control shift drag, it will be a difference operation and the intersected part will be saved. I was only covering layer management and hierarchy inside 3D code, sculpt room. So for other buttons I didn't cover, they will be covered in the next videos. So stay tuned.